I'm at the house at 20411 Lions Gate Lane in the Kenswick subdivision. Gonna give you a 360 of the neighborhood here. Got nice mature trees here in the neighborhood. This house, house, this house has a uh, garage side entrance to the house, so you can see it on the left side here. Two car garage with a garage door opener. You can see up on the roof got a nice skylight. The house itself is a three bedroom, two and a half bath. Square footage is roughly 2100, 76 square feet. Take a look inside here. There's a nice ceramic tile in the entry. Uh, just give you kind of a layout here. In the center here we have the staircase going up to the upstairs bedrooms. To the left here we have the formal dining going to the kitchen. Through the hallway here we got the half bath with, and down the hallway further is uh, the family room. And we'll start off to the right, it's going to be the living room. Now before we do that, I just want to kind of note some of the uh, unique features of this home. We got some nice cathedral ceilings here. There's a skylight we talked about. So we'll start here in the living room area. Got uh, newly installed carpet. Nice neutral colors on the wall. This is a good space, about 14 uh, feet by 17 feet. So it's a good large uh, former living room. And also, right next to it, we got the wet bar. So if you want to entertain over here, the uh, nice corner of the house. Through that window there is a Florida room, which we'll get to in a little bit. Let's head over here. Let's start off with the left, uh, that side uh, entry garage we talked about. I want to show that because it is a very large garage. You could easily fit in an oversized vehicle or two. There is a gas uh, water heater, so that should save you on your uh, utility bills versus electric. All right, in the front here, we got the formal dining area. We'll go through the kitchen through the, uh, through the hallway, so we'll hit that in a moment. Got under stairs storage closet. Here's the half bath. We got the uh, sink and the commode. Right next to that we have the family room. It's another large area here. Um, about 19 feet by 15 feet so these rooms down here are very good size. It has the gas. Let me just walk a little bit closer. The gas logs. So it's got the fireplace the gas logs so you don't actually have to clean that out. Makes it easy. Right here we got double doors. This is, looks like this is enclosed. Uh, so it's the Florida room. It's got carpet. Again, a nice neutral paint. Blinds. And then you can have another uh, exit there to the exterior. All right, through here we have the eating area. So if you want to have your informal dining, Nice uh, high ceiling there, ceramic tile. Since I'm here, let me, uh, well, let's finish up with the kitchen and we'll end up in the backyard and then we'll go upstairs. Let's do it that way. Okay, so right here in the front, got a nice breakfast bar. You can put some stools here, use that as additional eating area. Got the walk-in pantry. Here we have the stove and built-in microwave. You got your uh, area there for the refrigerator uh, hookup. Um, you got the ice maker connection. That's an unusual sink there. You got kind of like three little spots there. I guess one in the middle is uh, is uh, where you put your disposal items, and then the left and right you can use to put your clean your dishes. It's like a wine glass rack there, and your dishwasher. 
Okay, so let's head outside and then we'll go upstairs. Nice patio here, you could do some barbecuing. It's a little late in the day, so it's got the sun setting there, but you can see a nice landscape in here. Got a real nice mature tree, some nice shade, storage shed, and then the other uh, patio out there for the Florida room. All right, so we'll take a look back inside. Okay, we're gonna head upstairs. Before we get to all the rooms, I'd just like to point out some of the unique uh, features, uh, architectural features of this home. It's kind of like different kind of uh, lines on the ceiling. Not something you see every day. Okay, at the top of the stairs, let's kind of lay this out real quick. Utility room, uh, bedroom number two, bedroom number three, and I call it master bedroom number one. So the master's number one, three bedrooms in total. Let's start at the utility room. So you got the washer dryer hookups upstairs. Uh, what I like about that is you don't have to carry your laundry downstairs, wash it and carry it back upstairs. You just put it right there and put it back in your room, very easy. Bedroom number two, again, nice neutral colors ceiling fan and this has like a double closet got some of the shelves set up inside so you can kind of organize everything what's cool about this upstairs too is you got like a Jack and Jill setup so both bedrooms connect to the bathroom upstairs got the sink Toilet and tile floors and then the shower uh, and tub combination. So each bedroom has direct access. So that this would be called like a Jack and Joe bathroom. This leads to the third bedroom. Again, we've got the, uh, well, let me show this. this is a little bit, slightly different setup on the uh, closet. So you just stand back here, get a better perspective. Bedroom number three. A nice fresh carpet there and then we'll head off to the masters now right here at the masters entry they got a nice walk-in closet with lots of shelves drawers um, this is about nine feet deep by about six feet across so you got really a lot of storage space here all right Then the master bedroom itself, got nice 10 foot ceiling here, ceiling fan, about 16 feet across by 13 feet. So you should be able to put a king size bed like right there, put your uh, nightstands there, still be able to make it work. Okay, then we're going to the master's bathroom. Nice tile floors, dual sinks. Kind of a unique uh, medicine cabinet built into the mirrors. That's kind of cool. Then we head over to the uh, commode here. And got separate jacuzzi tub, which is very nice for uh, getting the stress, relieving the stress after a long day. And we got a separate shower. That's a nice wide shower. It's not the normal narrow size. So I'd say it's about, um, it looks like more like a square than a rectangle. So that should be easy to, uh, more comfortable there. You won't be kind of closed in and there's a uh, linen closet. So this is the house. Uh, square footage roughly 2160. Three bedrooms, two and a half bath. A lot of unique features. If you'd like more information about this home, please call Liberty Management at our toll free number. 
3761. Again, 855 347 3761. Thank you.